amazing stat. Alabama has thrown on their first play of the game every game, and they've completed that pass. Kenneth Darby, the tailback, LaRon McLean. He'll actually line up as a wide receiver, a single wide out to the near side as well. McLean actually comes in motion from right to left. Here's Kroll. He'll throw on first down, and he'll go down at the 10-yard line. Auburn, Wayne Dickens, and Tommy Jackson deliver quite the greeting to Mr. Coyle on the first play of the game. That was all set up. They let the play clock get down to one second for Brody Coyle. He had to take the snap, drop back five steps. Marquise Gunn come up on the outside. Wayne Dickens underneath, and they meet at the quarterback for a seven-yard line. Pearl out of the shotgun. On third and 13, takes the snap. Here comes McClover off the end. Here comes someone up the middle. Down Quill goes at the six-yard line. Quentin Groves. What a three plays for this Auburn defense. Quentin Groves that time comes on a stunt, loops around into the interior, and no thank you, Brody Crawl. You're going down again. Loss of eight. Stack up that offensive line and the give. No, play action. And uh, Cox has to unload it to Slaughter, who makes the catch. He has the first down. Holy cow. On second down, they'll fake the uh, pitch. Cox is going to throw for the end zone. Oh, Mamato's got it. Touchdown, Auburn. What a nice play call right there by Al Borges. A fake toss sweep. Trey Smith comes underneath in the flat, but Ben Obamato comes over the top on the drag route. Nice grab right there. Brandon Cox lays it up high. Obamato climbs the ladder to take it down for the first six. Paul and Ezekiel Knight, the receivers, one to each side on third down. Crawl to throw underneath. They'll dump it. Looking for room as a Darby cut down for no gain. And Tarius Williams with the tackle. David Irons also over there on the play. And Alabama three and out again. And second down. Cox to throw. Straight drop back. Fires down the middle. Taylor goes up. Makes the catch of the 12. Dragging tacklers inside of the 10. Pushed back at the 8. First and goal Auburn. Charlie Pepper and Roman Harper finally bring him down. But not before Courtney Taylor. And Brandon Cox, complete one for 16. When that play is executed like that, it is beautiful to watch. Courtney Taylor runs down about 10 steps and takes a quick slant route. Brandon Cox, five steps, guns the quick post in there between the defenders and takes it down for 16 yards. 7.39, 7.38, first and goal. Auburn leads 7 to nothing. They have it at the Alabama 7. Ben Obamanu in motion from the left side back to the right. They'll hand it off to Irons, right up the middle, to the five, to the four, to the three, to the two, to the one, he's in! Touchdown, Tigers! Kenny Irons, 13 to nothing, Auburn, with 7.24 to go, we're still in the first quarter. Boy, so far, this Auburn team has got a masterful game plan. That time, Kenny Irons, over left tackle, he just bulls his way into the end zone. He would not be stopped, people. Ball came loose, but he crossed the plane of the goal. And the Tigers lead 13 to nothing. Here comes the noise. Third and 15, snap to Croyle. Drops back, feeling pressure, going down at the 11. Jackson, Dickens, the interior part of that line. Tom Thompson, Quentin Groves, loss of eight. And Auburn's defense is dominating Let me the tell Alabama you line of scrimmage. I'm watching Brody Croyle. He is watching the rush. He is what, not comfortable at all. He takes a couple of steps. He is looking at the rush coming the whole time. He's not looking downfield. That is what's costing him. Auburn is putting so much pressure, he has got him rattled. Third sack of the day for the Auburn defense. Simpson now comes up there from his linebacker spot. And they'll fake the uh, handoff and give it to Obamanu on the reverse. 45-40, got a block, 35-30. Cuts it left, 25-20, to the 15, to the 10. There goes Ben, to the 5, touchdown! Five yards, 20 
to nothing. Tigers. Boy, what a dagger right there. Ben Obamano has faked the reverse a couple of times today, but they come with it this time. What blocking downfield by Cooper Wallace. Ben Obamano takes it the distance, cuts all the way back across the field. Simeon Castile would chase him down, but no thank you. Another touchdown for Auburn. 4 one to go in the first. Vaughn to attempt the extra point. Up. Good. 21-0 Tigers. How do you like this one, folks? High backfield. Now they'll move Darby out of the uh, tailback spot. And he'll line up as a wide receiver. Here's Curl. Down he goes. Oh, what a hit. Holy cow. Back to the 13. Stanley McClover. And wow. Antarius Williams. Antarius Williams came off a stunt blitz on the outside. Untouched. David Gibbs had a great play call right there. Brody Croyle takes a five-step drop, and he felt that one the whole way. He would not look downfield because he's getting his head knocked off every single play. Antarius Williams comes on the outside and just comes unblocked and takes him down for another sack. Third and 16 for Alabama. From their own 14, they'll send two wide right. Here's a man in motion from right to left. That's Hall. Croyle under center, drops back to throw. Now chased out of there, and down he goes again. Down he goes again. This time it's Tommy Jackson. This time it's Tommy Jackson, a loss of six. I have never, I have not seen a defensive dominated performance in the Iron Bowl since the late 80s. That's five sacks today in three series. Alabama goes into the neg negative even more. Brody Crow does a play action pass to keep players in. Tommy Jackson, another sack. There goes Castile in motion from right to left. Crow to throw. Looking, now running and being chased and being dropped. The 38-yard line. Two yards short of the first down. Williams, Dickens, and Dede. Good job. Pressure right there on the defensive front. That time Auburn came up with five, five true down linemen. They went man-to-man -man coverage. Brody Curl took a five-step drop. He looked at one receiver, and he realized he didn't have much time. He had to just tuck it and try to get what he could. And Auburn, good job in closing speed. Antarius Williams came down to make sure he didn't get the first down. Man in motion from left to right. That's Knight. Crawl to throw. Pressure up the middle. Down he goes. At the 16-yard line, Marquise Gunn came in there untouched. Stanley McClover, the second man there for the sixth sack of the day. Let me tell you something, Rod Bramlett. If you don't block the guy over your center, you're never going to get a playoff. That time, you can't hold Brody Coy responsible for that. Marquise Gunn came right up the middle untouched. B.J. Stabler at right guard just turned his back. Marquise Gunn came right. Heck, you and I could get to the quarterback doing that. <laughs> First and 10 for the Tigers from their own 39. Here's Obamanu in motion. They'll hand it off to Irons. He's got a hole. 40, 45. First down to the 50. Kenny Irons, an 11-yard run and an Auburn first down. Cox waits for the snap, takes it from his own 49. Looks, looks, fires, cross the middle, mixed wide open. 35, escapes the man, 30, running left down to the 26-yard line. Anthony Mix picks up the first down. Anthony Madison with the stop for Alabama. 20 yards on the play, Cox to Mix. 241, here's Cox from the pocket, fires, caught a Roma shoot at the 10, to the 5, and down he goes there. Braddon Cox with a bullet to Aroma Shadu for 21 yards and an Auburn first down. Third and 10, Brandon Cox takes a three-step drop and throws another slant route, just like he did the play before, to Devin Aroma Shadu this time. A nice throw right there by number 12 to get inside the 10 to the five-yard line. First and goal, Auburn with 2.28, and the clock whistled back in motion. Auburn will load up that offensive line. They'll put an extra lineman in there and Leon Hart, two tight ends. First and goal from the five. Cox under center. On first down, the fake to Irons. Rolling left, firing wide open. Touchdown, Auburn. Cole Bennett. Arms outstretched high in the air. Looking up in the Auburn stands as the Tigers take a 27-7 lead. Nice play call right there by Al Borges. First and goal. You think Auburn's going to take it out on the run to the wide side, but no, sir. Brandon Cox fakes the play action pass. Bootleg to Cole Bennett for their 27th point of the day. And they'll give him actually all the way back to the original line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Shotgun snap to Kroll. Pump fakes. Down he goes. Stanley McClover drops Kroll again. This time back at the 12-yard line. Seventh Auburn sack. 
here in the first half. We've got to be going for an Iron Bowl record here today so far. That time, Stanley McGlover lined up right over number 58, Kyle Tatum at tackle. McGlover went inside that time and just bull rushed and was able to swim underneath and take down Crawl. That was more of a intimidation sack more than anything. Two and a half sacks now on the day for McGlover. Big play here. Crawl drops back. Here comes McGlover. Down he goes. Crawl dropped to the 25-yard line by Stanley McGlover. Loss of nine yards. Fourth down coming up for Alabama. They'll have to try a field goal. Crawl in the shotgun. Auburn really has been able to get pressure on Crawl in these situations all night long. On third down, Coyle, here they come again! Down he goes! Stanley McClover pounces on Coyle at the 30-yard line. He just ran right over and through the left tackle, Cody Davis, for Auburn's 10th sack of the night. And no thank you, that is, that's unfair to do to Cody Davis right there. Stanley McClover comes up again, number 10 for that defense tonight. Did not have any chance right there. Brody Kroll felt it coming the whole way. Three and a half sacks on the night for McClover. Third and eight. Two wideouts left. Man in motion. Crawl, they'll hand it off to Darby and runs into his own man, and that's funny on that play. Marquise Gunn and Stanley McClover, Tommy Jackson are able to collapse on him and bring him down for the stop and a loss of a couple of yards. Well, I guess 10 sacks is too many for Mike Shula to bear. That's third and 10, and they try to sneak a, a running play off a right tackle to Kenneth Darby, and, and Auburn just took him down for a two-yard loss. And they'll give it to Irons, short side of the field. He's up to the 35, still on his feet to the 38. That's enough for the Auburn first down. And a draw play to Kenny Irons. This is the man, 45, over midfield. In the Alabama territory, over the left side. Another Auburn first down. He's down at the 45 of Alabama, 12 yards on the gain. And Kenny Irons starting to heat up. He sure is, and it's just in time for the fourth quarter, and that's what you had to look at. We talked about the matchup, this offensive line taking it to the fourth quarter. Jake Slaughter blocking. Marcus McNeil, Kenny Irons running downfield before Harper takes him down, but another first down Auburn. Second and 10 from the Alabama 45. Brandon Cox leaves it for Irons around right in. 45, 40, far sideline, 35, inside the 35 to the 32, another first down, 13 yards for the Tigers. Third and 12 for the Crimson Tide. Nine and a half minutes to go on the Iron Bowl. Three wide receivers, Hall, Brown, and Cadell. Shotgun for Coyle. Takes the snap from Britt. Looking, pressure collapsing around him. He tries to run out of there. He can't do it. Travis Williams with the tackle of Brody Coyle in the backfield. That's another Auburn sack. Is that 11? That is 11. Nice job right there. Not allowing Alabama to get any momentum, taking a lot of time off the clock and forcing another punt. 11 sacks for the day. That time, Travis Williams. Appreciate Rodriguez. Devin Aroma should do in there the game, in the game at wide receiver. They'll hand it off to Irons. He's across 15. Lowers his head to the 20 to the 21-yard line. 11 yards for Irons. And an Auburn first down. Fourth down. Auburn 28, Alabama 10. Crowd really making some noise. There's Hall in motion from left to right. Fourth down play for Coyle. Here comes pressure down the 15-yard line, Antarius Williams. How fitting is that? 12 sacks, an even dozen on number 12, Brody Coyle. And that may do it, my friends. 331 left in the game. That's number 12 on Mr. Croyle, the senior quarterback. And it's looking more and more like it's going to be four in a row. Auburn will have it, first and 10. From their own 15, 3.31 to go. Alabama has two timeouts to use. But other than that, not much hope left. And Auburn, 21 seconds on the clock. Everybody on the sideline with four fingers held in the air. The Tigers are going to win four in a row over Alabama. 21 seconds on the clock. Brandon Cox will take a knee 
That's your ball game. An absolutely dominating performance in the 70th Iron Bowl. The scoreboard might not show it, but Auburn with a whooping on Alabama, 28 to 10. Hope you don't need to use the woodshed anytime soon, folks. It's full for another year. Boy, what a dominating performance since the turn of the century, folks. Four in a row, five out of the last six. Is there any question which program is dominating right now? All right, great job. Hey, seniors, that's for you. Y'all give the seniors a hand. We heard all year long about how we were second fiddle. Mm -hmm. And we brought it out tonight of who was the best team in the wow. state. Auburn. Coach Gibbs, defensive coaches in defense, we had 11 sacks tonight. Give yourself wow. a hand. Listen up, it doesn't get any sweeter than that. No. You played hard from the beginning to the end. Hey, no doubt, everybody across the country saw who, saw who the best team was. We yep. told everybody at the beginning of the year that we were one of the best teams, but nobody continues for some reason to listen to us. Tonight, we tied for the Western Division Championship. We'll get a trophy. We gotta have some help. We gonna but get uh, it. We got, of course, there ain't nothing we can do about it. We're gonna go home. We're gonna have Thanksgiving. We're gonna thank God for what he did for us this year. We're gonna be safe. We're gonna be safe. We're gonna count our blessings. Let me tell you something, guys. Y'all have a good football team. As good as there is, that's played this year. But you've had to earn it. And that's what it's all about. You've had to earn respect, and you earned it tonight. Great job. Man, it just felt good, man, to just be back, man. And I knew we needed a big game in the Iron Bowl, and I had to show up. I had to show up for my teammates, and that's what I did tonight. It's amazing. Uh, can't too many people say that they've done that. So, you know, it's a blessing. I'm telling you, man, God I'm bless, truly bless his class, bless his school. And uh, we continue, man, he'll just keep, you know, blessing us out, man. Just we got to keep giving honor to him, just keep going out playing for him. I mean, it, it's great, you know, just to win four in a row, but our senior class is going to be remembered by this game, and we want to come out on top, so I think we'll be remembered how well we played this game. It feels great. I remember when we first came in as freshmen, especially myself being from Alabama. Uh, we said that we, we didn't want to lose to, to Alabama we want, no years while we were here, all four years, because we talked to some of the redshirt guys, Travis and uh, Wayne Dick and some of those guys told us about that sour feeling, how it felt to, to lose to, uh, to Alabama. I remember I was at the game when uh, Cadillac got hurt and he, and they lost that game as well, so we said we didn't want that feeling. We remember how everybody felt, so we just wanted to come out and do that. And so to be able to come out in, in uh, four years, have that come true, is, is a great feeling for us. Uh, you know, just coming behind the offensive line. You know, like I said before, we have one of the best offensive lines in the SEC, and they continue to do a great job every week. They make things easier for me. And then running behind those guys, just, it just make things a lot easier. And, uh, you know, I just uh, you know, run, run hard, just run hard. You know, when um got to make one guy miss, break some tackles, that's, you know, that's normal. And so uh, the success is just great to do, uh, go to the offensive line and continue to do a great job. Yeah, um, you know, I had you know, I had a couple of catches and um, a couple of them was underneath the defense and they made big plays and I had that one big oh. catch and that kind of got me over the edge, you know. I barely got it, it was like a thousand and one, but <laughs> you know, I got it. Uh, you know, it's like I said, it might be history. Um, four receivers on the same team, a thousand yards in the SEC. So, you know, that's big, that's huge for me and my fellow teammates. You know, we all came in together and um, it wasn't a goal, but it's a great accomplishment.